we've still got a ton of rare and valuable fish to find. And that includes these very rare yellow glowing salmon things. I've seen these very frequently, but it's actually very hard to get your lure in front of them because they're rarer than you think. With an unblinking gaze, he emerges on the surface. Yellow carp, get in the boat. $320,000, that's easy money. And now we get to decide and figure out how and where to catch the rest of these idiots. Luckily, I do at least have an unlimited budget so I can keep spending money on bombs and mega hooks. Today is legitimately going to cost me $50,000 a cast. Going down deep, we're going to scare away the bulbfish times two. Probably also that guy. Because I wanted to make my way in and I caught a new fish already. I remember they swam down there somewhere. And then it's just going to take the 40 hours it takes to reel these idiots back to the surface. And just like that, two of the fish have been caught. Senti worth 50000 Since we already scared some of the fish away here, we're going to take a look back in this cave to see if there's anything else we need. Pretty sure there's some fish somewhere down in here that I'm going to need. There's all sorts of fish that are going around in this maze, so I'm actually going to... I don't want this one. I'm going to scare that one because I've caught that one. I also found some of the smaller uh, fire fish. If I could get one of those, that would work. That's a new fish. I need to remember this cave is full of things I need. Don't eat that. I need this fish more than you do. Thank you. Okay, I've got to go side to side. Either this uh, or this fish will literally eat my fish and then I won't have it anymore. Uh, same with that fish. Same with probably also those fish. Every fish here is a problem. Thermo, 40 grand, get in the boat. Then I think it actually makes more sense to enter the cave from that side because I'm closer to the fish I need and I can scare the idiots out of the way with bombs on the way in. Already there's something coming at me pretty quick, so we're going to scare it away. There's a light bulb fish. There's that big idiot. I think those are both ember fishes, so I don't really need them. This fish I need. Why didn't that bite? He bit it and ran away. I needed that fish. Okay, here he is again. Come on, bite. Do I have you now? Okay, I think I got him this time. I'm just targeting what I think are going to be the easiest fish to catch because some of these are going to be an absolute nightmare. This is the maze. Fitting me because he was wandering around the maze. 400 grand. Get in the boat. The swordfish I saw down there, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need to take uh, another fish and just the flash is going to have to ram into it. But he's hard to even see down there, let alone get him to run into another fish. The cuddlecanth, however, is an extinct fish that lives under the deep caves under the coral reef. Luckily, I'm very familiar with that area. I've spent many hours there. The cuddle can they're hiding in this cave and they're just that easy to find, or are they? Cryptically, they're definitely not easy. 220,000, get out of the boat. I wandered down into an area I guess I've never really been and these fish are actually lower than where I'm supposed to be able to go. Uh, that's definitely a fish I need. He's wearing a hat. Uh, that's also that really hard to catch fish that's basically impossible otherwise. So if you want to go ahead and bite my hook, that would be fine. Maybe we can just kind of force it in your mouth. Oh, okay, we also are maybe going to catch that. I don't want you. I'm pretty sure I've caught you before. Rejection is never easy. Will you bite my thing? Neither of these want to bite. Uh, it's nice to know where they hide. There's fossils on the ground. Is that what they're here for? Do I need bombs to wake up the fossils? There does seem to be like an area inside of that uh, down there. So I'm pretty sure I can get in there one way or another. I did also run into that. It's a very rare fish. Uh, it's not necessarily a new fish, but it is very rare. So I'll take you. After finally reeling him up from the depths, Germ 220, get in the boat. Uh, my next mission is definitely going to be a hard one because I need to take this fish known as a rare fruit and take it on a little journey because we are in the far right of the map so far. And I just got eaten by this fish instead, so let's try that again. This time I think we're going to stick to medium depth waters to hopefully avoid more of the idiots down deep that are very annoying. The downside to doing it this way is I don't really know where I am anymore, so I'm kind of guessing, and if I keep moving to the left or right, this guy can't actually get me. I am in the right area. I just can't really do anything about him either, so he's probably going to eat the light, and we're just going to have to get over that. But what we're trying to do is get down close to the fish wearing a hat with this uh, fruit fish thing on the bait, and he's supposed to like this. He sure did. He bit it. Let's get him to the surface, hopefully in one piece. <laughs> a fish wearing a hat. How about that? Zub, get in the boat. Next, I'm going to see if I can bait the kingfish all the way up to my boat. I think there's probably a different way of doing this, but I'm lazy. I just want to see if I can kite them all the way there, because I think this will somehow actually be faster. Provided no other idiot gets in the way, but at this point... Oh, never mind. We, uh... Can I still catch you, actually? Yeah, okay, I can catch him. I think the other fish are probably going to release him, though. Yep, his friend already came, and let him go. So I'll do that same strategy. I just got to bomb a few more idiots first. Alright, a lot of his friends are gone. I'm going to kite him as far as I can, and if I have to, I will just straight up catch him. He just better make this worth my while, because it's going to be really annoying to do. I accidentally put it in his mouth, and... Uh-oh. Uh, okay, and he's still got quite a posse. We're going to have to kite him all the way up. I don't know where to find those. 
Okay, apparently they all want a piece of me. I'm hoping I can catch one of the more interesting fish first. Nope, never mind. They're all gonna leave me. But I'm pretty sure this is how you catch the red fish or something. I'm not really sure. Okay, now they're all showing up. What wants to do? Uh, okay, guess we're having this fish. I might have found the winning strategy to do this because if I can just get the kingfish right near the surface, his friend won't have a time to break his line before I reel him into the boat. It's just going to take some very careful and lucky timing probably. This is really, really annoying to do. I was trying to avoid one of the other fish and then that fish bit and then this guy bit. I don't know if I got that on recording, but we ended up with Regina. 700 grand, get in the boat. Happy accident. But now that Regina is out of the way, this should make catching the kingfish a lot, lot easier. So far, nobody else is giving chase, so this should mean a free shot basically to the surface. I'm gonna wait till he's pretty much there to hook him and then pull him in. Do you think he's getting annoyed at the chase yet? And got him. Ancient kingfish, one million dollars, get in the boat and stay there. But since I've become a master of kiting fish, I think I need to borrow one of these gentle morons. This is also really annoying to do, but we're gonna do it anyway. So I need you to follow me down like a good dummy, not too far because they don't get kited very well, and scare him there, and then he's gonna break the rocks. And then you're dismissed. You can just go and die wherever you see fit. I send him off into the abyss, and now we're in this little cavern full of all sorts of new creatures. They also want to eat my glowy fish. I am going to try very hard not to let that happen. I have no idea what this even is, but I hope that cavern is full of lots of the fish I need because they're getting really hard and hard to catch. That was nice and pain-free. Lubos, 140 grand, get in the boat. Now we can take a look in this little area and there's definitely a few different things in here. Uh, the orange fish is interesting. Ah, uh, yeah, that was easy. I'll take you. Oh, there's also that thing too. That's also another fish I need. Wait a sec, this is just another fish with a mohawk. You can't fool me. This lovable moron is called a primitive. Get in the boat. Actually, I think there's only two large fish that I still need to catch. Uh, there's probably some secret ones, but I'm pretty sure he's the one down there I just saw. And then this guy's also right below me. So let's see if he's willing to just straight up bite. And it looks like he is. That was surprisingly easy. I don't know where the rest of this cavern goes, but let's get him out of here before I get too carried away. That's also new. There's so many new fish in these caverns, it's hard to know where to start. The hardest part of this is the amount of time it takes to cast all the way down to here and the rail the fish all the way out. We are so far into water. Fell it in, 160 grand, get in the boat. And then when they scoop out this guy, there's also some fish right along the bottom that's actually below the maximum depth. Those are probably also new. For now, I'm going to settle for the albino mustache fish. This mysterious guy is a minute, maybe a minute. Feel like he might have some kind of strange significance just by the look of him. He looked very important. Pretty sure that's also new. There's so many fish down here. I think most of them are new, but I'm not actually entirely sure. I think this one has feathers or something, but we'll find out shortly what exactly it is. Our feathered friend is a chrono. 240 grand, get in the boat. Our boat's actually getting full, and it's worth almost $3 million. This small, elegant fish is drawn to anomalies in a space-time continuum. The other one was called a minute, so there's probably something about that cavern where we can do something special. The swoosher is the other one that's sitting down there. His tail looks a little bit like a heart, but we're running out of fish suddenly. There's a few out there, but I know where this one is. I know where this one is. Bull beater is super annoying. Smarty, I know where it is, but I don't really know how to catch him. I also know where the power fin is actually because we've technically caught that once or twice and it annoyed me earlier. And we have a thunderstorm blowing in so it might actually get some different weird fish. Maybe even down in that uh, cavern that seems to be full of strange and rare fish. So far the cavern remains the same but in the next cavern there's a new fish. We definitely need one of these. There's also something down on the bottom I think I see. Uh, I think that's a hat. Cast on dirt to find delicious worm. Okay, I think we'll stick to our explorer for now, but we'll probably put that on later. Okay, we've worked our way down to the very bottom where we're going to take one of these back to the surface for our profit and enjoyment. Mostly profit, I don't particularly enjoy these fish. I would wager there's some kind of secret inside one of the fish because when lightning flashes you can see their skeleton. This swoosher, 82,000, get in the boat. I'm also keeping an eye on this red fish because if I can manage to uh, get it separated from its baby I think I can catch it individually. They're always just very very close together so it's hard to find that opening to separate them. But I'll get there, I've got oodles of time. Now I just need to try and get one of these and pull it to the surface without anything else eating it and then these cabins are at least complete and I can stop diving way down here. This fish is already see-through, we don't need the lightning to look through it. Also, I realize that I don't think I've actually caught this fish before, despite the fact that I've uh, gone past him a million and one time, so we might as well bring him up with us. We're gonna lose our light bulb shortly. 
Never mind, that idiot gave up. I'm just gonna propel him up to the left. That way we'll hopefully avoid anything stealing our light and we'll be at the cell station by the time this guy's up in air. This Dijon, 12,000, get in the boat. The boat is now full. $16,000 plus this guy. Actually, what we can do there is use the trawler net and scoop him up if he wants to play below the boat like that. Then he'll be part of the boat too. Or he can just follow me around for a little while too. That's probably fine also. Okay, we're back at the cell station. So we got $3 million worth of fish on board. If we sell that, we're going to get 4.7 because of all those bonuses. $4.7 million for a single boatload of fish. And we're back down by my big purple idiot who uh, does strange things. But we want to catch this gold idiot who's roving around in a super annoying pattern. Hello? Don't you want me? I'm tasty bait and a nice big hook. Any second now, they'll swim back toward us, but they're, wow, they wander a long ways. Oh, this is a silo I'm above. I never realized that before. I didn't realize it looked like that on the map. And got the power fin to the surface, get in the boat. Now we're going to try something a little bit strange. And that does not include the whale party we're suddenly having for some reason. Basically, I understood that if you disable the UI, put large bait on and a mega hook, which I think I already forgot, and cast your line down there, hopefully past the whales. That didn't work. We'll use a whale for bait. Sometimes these things just take a minute. Can you be bait? Are you big enough to be bait? Nope, you're too big. What I'm trying to accomplish is casting a $250,000 fish into the water to turn him into bait, attaching a mega hook to that, turning the UI off, and letting this sink. Hopefully past all the other fish. So far, so good. We just let this go down and down and down to where the glowing tims are. Which should be about as far as my line can normally sink. I do have my extra hat on. I know you guys can't see anything, just trust me. See, there's one of the Tims. There's a few around. Uh, I should be able to catch the fish I'm looking for somewhere here. Actually, I can see him on the map. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see. It's probably too dark. But there's a giant fish right in front of me who is so far ignoring my lure. I might be sinking too far for him to take notice. Nope, I caught him. I just had to let my line rest at the bottom. There he is. One of the very rarest fish. Maybe the rarest fish in the game. Oh, I see. He uses Tim as a light on the front of him. This uh, also might be the biggest fish in existence because look at the size of him. He's absolutely enormous. So UI back on mask fish. One million dollars. Just shy of getting the boat. We don't want to lose that one. And now we got a Tim in our face. This might also be used for something else. This game is full of secrets. Look how big he is. He's huge. Well, since we're in the mood for obnoxiously rare secrets, I've got another one I want to try that I'm not really sure will work or not. I'm worried I'm going to lose him somehow, like the game's going to crash. So I'm going to go ahead and sell that. There's another couple million dollars. The mask fish lives in symbiosis with the Tims above the silo. Light bulb or sonar will startle him away. So anytime you have that stuff going, he, uh, I think if you just turn sonar off, that would be enough. You don't have to turn the UI off, maybe. Whatever the case, he doesn't show up until you catch him. For this one, apparently we need to go down into the caverns below the coral reef to the left of the dragon. All the way down. Probably don't need the bombs anymore. I scared one light fish away already, so hopefully that doesn't have any adverse effect. And we need to try and get lower than this. Now apparently if we go over here and get snaked on the rock, not too hard. There should be some way to get ourselves even lower, but I don't know how yet. Okay, I think I get it. You've got to go like that and then turn the boat to the left a little bit more. Uh, so that the line tilts a little bit. Because as you do that, uh, the lure actually is going to get a little bit deeper. Uh, there's probably a better way of doing this, but you're just trying to make the line essentially longer so you can get under the map. I know you once again can't see anything, but I did manage to get my lure way down below the bottom, as you can tell by the real speed, and we did it! There's a fish on there! This fish was somehow found lurking under the map. Yes, it sure was. Well, we're gonna go ahead and sell all these for a second, $450,000. It's $50,000 a cast, and we're still up to 12.5 million. Well, there's definitely still a few fish in and around the maze we need to get, so we're gonna go mess with those annoying morons. And there's still that enormous guy out beyond the edge of where we can go even with this super boat. I never realized before though, there's a small fish out there with them. That might be the roadie that I need that's been on my quest forever. I think the hardest part of this now is going to be trying to remember what we've already caught or not. We definitely still need the swordfish, but we need something to be able to uh, get the swordfish speared by. We don't want any of those. The swordfish would have been nice, but we're not set up for that. Pretty sure this is it. I've definitely hooked this a few times. I think I probably always lose it or feed it to something else because I assume it's boring. It's not the most exciting fish in its size, but in its color, it's doing all right. Fiend, eighty thousand dollars, get in the boat. I just realized we also haven't caught a bull beater, despite the fact they constantly steal our lights at the bottom and are the most annoying fish in existence. So in order to catch one, you need to first hook a Tim and then feed the Tim to the bulb fish. 
And we know it's only a matter of time before a bulbfish comes for a visit because they're constantly coming to steal my stuff when I'm this deep especially. There's also fish curiously at the bottom of the map here. Okay, here comes a, uh, yep. Uh, okay, and he wants the light also, but whatever the case, we now have a bulb eater. I never realized the entire time that we hadn't caught one yet, because I'm so used to seeing them. Every time you cast down to the depths, they come charging straight towards you and eat your light bulb. Now we got one, get in the boat. There's a big fish coming straight down. Are you the one I want? You ignored me entirely. You're all ignoring me. And for some reason, that fish came swooping in from way out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, we turned into bait somehow. I don't know what just happened. Actually, I bet if I had large bait, the purple fish would finally bite. So I just need to turn you into bait and then cast you back down. Okay, is my new strategy going to work or does this just fish just not want to bite? I've messed with it before and it's a buggy mess. And it might still be the same or I might be doing something wrong. I think I found the great Cusper. I was hanging out down near the bottom and he showed up and doesn't want to eat but I did find him. Not sure how to catch him. Also a light fish stole my thing. Maybe they were blind fish because now that my light went out this guy was actually interested and he wasn't interested before. Now that I look at this one, it doesn't have eyes. I don't entirely know what I'm catching. Maybe this is the one I wanted after all. Old Cusper, get in the boat. The Great Cusper is unusually attracted to strong electromagnetic waves. I don't know what it wants. Apparently if I just hang out here, yeah, the whales will start to come up from the surface and you can see the Great Cusper down below, so we're gonna see if they can feed my large bait and big hook directly into him. I don't know, he might just not bite if you're far enough down. Whatever the case, we got him now. A very, very big fish get in the boat. He's so big he basically is the boat. I'm just gonna take a little look around looking for some of the fish that are missing that I still don't really know where to find. The one fish in particular I'm looking for should be with a bunch of its siblings or something anyway so it should be easy to see on the radar and I'm not really seeing anything that would fit the bill or that's immediately obvious. So I'll settle for catching one kingfish and then we're gonna sell the whole boatload for another million dollars we're at almost 13 million. One of the fish I definitely do know his whereabouts is that red fish that I actually just scared away with that bomb because it's a very scared fish. Luckily it's not the only interesting fish in the area. I can always catch one of these. I just need to be a little bit patient and kite it to the surface. Yeah, I think I can just kind of go like this till it's near the surface because they lose a lot of speed when they turn and then I'll just let it bite when it gets close and then I get to keep it. That's it stupid. Whoop, then got it. Cuda, five grand. Not very expensive for how annoying that is to catch. Now I actually need to remove my hat because I need to put on Dig, the one we found way down deep in the cave and now we look just adorable. And this is good, what you gotta do is cast backwards onto the ground and then you'll pick up a worm. And then we need to go all the way to the very far side of the map. And this takes a minute by this point because the map is actually really big. But once there we gear ourselves up with a light bulb and a mega hook. Don't forget the rocket and then we gotta cast out as far as we could possibly go and try and find the big fish that lurks out here somewhere. I don't really know his pattern, I just know he kind of wanders around somewhere within the border sometimes, sometimes a little further out. But if I was a big stupid fish, I'd want to bite this thing. Oh wait, he is down there. He just made an appearance finally, so let's see if we can get out to him. So far every time I cast, he just leaves right away. I'm not sure what his problem is, but we're gonna wait patiently. I did just manage to get a cast like out beyond so I pushed the map to the right to see if he's out here somewhere. He is. Okay so you just gotta push the map out further with a super rocket cast. I don't really know if it's actually possible to catch him within the zones of the map and even now he still wandered out further somehow. Further. Wait there he is. Oh he's so close. Come on. You know you want it. Can we just? Yeah there we go. We can flick right into him. Bite it. Got him. Alright we're reeling him in. The fish at the end of the huge fishes. At least I think so. There might be some secret ones beyond, but for now we got him. He wasn't as far out as the forebearer, but he was still pretty hard to catch. Problematicus. One million dollars? Get in the boat. For another easy million dollars.